very pleasant morning to all dear children we have already discussed about water resource in the previous classes today we are going to discuss about soil today we are going to discuss about soil soil is a natural resource that provides minerals and water to all the plants the first basic thing is soil is a natural resource and that soil is provides minerals and water to the plants and next it is the primary nutrition base particularly for agricultural crops so it is a basically a uh, be primary nutrition base for what for whom it is for especially agricultural crops and not only this in addition uh, soil is a place of living for wide varieties of organisms like earthworms crabs insects and few microorganisms whenever the rain comes so what happens soil used to absorb the rain water and that rain water is used by plants and human nowadays human activities have influenced soil quality also so in what are the ways we are influencing the soil qualities listen we have deteriorated the soil quality in various ways deteriorated deteriorated means become worse our activities makes the soil quality becomes worse worst poor in quality and soil pollution decreases the fertility and in extreme cases uh, it becomes deteriorates the soil so what happened is soil polluted soil polluted means it started to decreases the fertility of land fertility in the sense capability of producing uh, more crops okay so if it is soil polluted starts it decreases the fertility it decreases the production of crops so automatically fertility decreases extremely it causes to deteriorate deteriorated means the soil becomes worse useless okay and water lagging and salinization are the main causes of another serious problem in which once fertile lands are becoming barren and useless so what are the two processes uh, serious one is water logging and another one is salinization water logging occurs when the water logging occurs means if there is too much of water present in the plants roots so if water uh, occupy the roots it will not allow oxygen to go inside the roots so that will uh, make the plant to not grow well and salinization the process by which Uh, non saline land non saline soil becomes saline saline the word indicates containing salt so salinization by human activity only uh, non saline land we are making saline okay these are the main two main causes to make another serious problem what another serious problem it makes the uh, once fertile land fertile land means agricultural land becomes barren barren in the sense too poor to produce crops okay too too poor in the sense it will not produce crops properly and it becomes that particular land becomes useless so this is in a short form desertification permanent removal of plants and trees it becomes desert land nothing there is no plants there is no animals in that particular land so what are the two cause uh, two main causes water logging and salinization are the two main causes to create desertification okay and apart from this apart from this the use of chemical fertilizers has also been a serious cause of soil pollution not only the salinization not only this water logging deterioration makes the soil to pollute apart from that chemical fertilizers also nowadays we are using more chemical fertilizers pesticides herbicides for what purpose we are using we are using to protect agricultural crops from insects and some uh, minute animals micro animals is it or not so what happens that chemical fertilizers also affect the quality of soil it makes the soil to pollute and however the most serious threat to soil is the process of soil erosion erosion so erosion in the sense what erosion means what to erode the soil the soil is getting up exposed to due to the activities like deforestation and overgrazing so deforestation in the sense cutting off trees and overgrazing in the sense if grazing is continued the particular 
area for over time for long period it becomes over grazing at last the soil becomes uh, waste land it will not use for any agricultural purpose as a result soil is being subjected to the action of wind and water so soil is subjected to the uh, process wind and water so whenever the heavy wind comes a heavy rain comes what happens the upper layer of soil will transport it to one place to the another place that also leads the soil pollution so what happens when if it is a more heavy rain or heavy wind particular agricultural uh, land field so what happens that upper layer contains more minerals and water is it or not so it will transport it to one place or to another place the rate at which soil formation occurs is much less compared to the rate at which soil erosion takes place so usually soil forms the natural process called uh, weathering of rocks so this is the process of uh, soil formation but what happens nowadays soil erosion is more than that soil formation and restoring the soil quality can be a solution for many of the environmental issues bothering human life so we have to restore the soils we have to make all the uh, uh, activities to protect the soil we should not pollute the soil we have to protect the soil today we have discussed about soil soil is a natural resource basically it provides water and mineral to all the plants and it is a living uh, place for wide varieties of organisms and desertification we have discussed about desertification of of like agriculture land also and not only those things some chemical fertilizers also pollute the soil and in that we have discussed about deforestation and overgrazing and formation of soil i hope you all understood students if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you